Okay, a minute's about up for this side. So we've got the second needle. Just check the cap on that. Take the end off. Tighten the tourniquet. And because my vein's a little bit twisted, I have to straighten my arm. Can you see that? And you put that in the vein. See the pumping on the end there. Just catch that little bit of blood. Yeah, it'll push the whole, virtually the whole needle in. You can see that pumping there telling me that it's in the vein. That's my, my heart rate. So you can count those to tell you what your heart rate is. Into this air bubble compartment here. So 
also, besides capturing air bubbles there, it also captures the air in the air there, so pretty well covered all the way along the line. Now what I do is just twist that, tape these to my arm, because they're going to be sitting there for five years, five years, five hours. And also clamp the lines to the side of my seat. Now that's all clamped, that's comfortable. I'll throw that away. Fold this up. Now this pillow, which is just a bead pillow, I'll put here and I can rest my arm up here. Okay, now that's ready. I'm comfortable. Now we can start pulling the blood out. So what we do is start the dialysis, turn the pump on, all the clamps are open, now you can see the blood flowing here, you might follow this through with the camera, the camera. It's going through the pump, you'll see it come out the pump here. It's not hard to follow, it's a red thing there. It's going into the air bubble trap, through the air bubble trap into the kidney. And you'll see it coming down through the kidney. <coughs> we also have water, filtered water. and uh, that's mixing through and cleaning that blood. Now it's going through here. Now this will switch on and this will switch the system off in a minute because it will detect a different colour of fluid inside this detector here. So now it sees something red, not white and clear. So it says what's going on? So it set the alarm off. So I'll tell it to keep dialysing because it's okay, it's only my blood. through and here it is going back into my arm. Now the speed's only 140 so what I have to do is take that up to 300 mils per minute. So now we've got flying at 300 mils per minute. There's 300 mils of blood coming out of me going through the machine. Now we have to turn the ultra filtration system on. This uh, using uh, pressure will uh, take the 2.4 litres of fluid out of that blood. It takes it out at 480 mils per hour um, and on the top it tells you how much it's actually taken out as time goes by. Also we have to turn on the heparin pump. Now, over four hours that will inject 1.4 mils of heparin into my blood to stop it from clotting inside there and inside the kidney mainly to stop any clots in the kidney. Uh, that's worked out during your training and as time goes by how much of that you need. Some people vary on how much they need. Um, so now I'm away for five hours. I have to sit here for five hours and it's a good time to record some shows late at night to watch during the day, read a book, set up a computer, great, um, or hopefully just wait for the 